In JavaScript, you can assess properties of an object in multiple ways. Two very common ways you can use to do this is number one, using the dot notation and number two, using square brackets. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use these two ways to assess properties and also explaining the differences between them. With dot and bracket notation, you can assess the value of a property by its key. You can modify the value of an existing property by its key and you can also add a new property to an object. But these two approaches assesses properties differently and you can have different scenarios where one is better than the other. First, let's look at the dot notation. This approach involves using a dot, which is a period sign, and a key to assess a property. The syntax for this is you have the object, and then you have the dot, then you have the property name, which is the key, and this will return the value of that property. Let's see an example. I'm just going to paste this object here. We have the name property decode. We have the age, which is 80. This is not my age. Then we have the language, which is JavaScript. And let's say one to assess the name property. I'm going to call this a variable of target. First, I have the object, which is obj. Then I have the dot, and then I have the key for the property I want to assess, which is name. And now if I come here and I console.log targets, and I run this file here, you can see we get decode, which is the value of this property that we assessed. You can also use the dot notation to modify an existing property. So here, I'm going to comment this. And let's say I want to modify the age to 100. If I come here and I console log obj and I run this, you see we have name deco that doesn't change. Now we have age 100 because we modified it here and then we have language JavaScript, which doesn't change. And like I also said, with the dot notation, you can add a new property. So let's say we want to add a new property called location and then I assign this the value of mercury. If I come here and I run this file, you can see obj has name decode, age 80, language JavaScript, and this is the new property that we have added. Now let's look at bracket notation. In bracket notation, you have square brackets and in those square brackets, you have an expression that evaluates to a value. The syntax for the bracket notation is you have object and then you have square brackets and inside the square brackets, you have an expression which will evaluate to a value. And the value that is gotten out of this expression would serve as the key for the property that you want to assess. So let's use our same object example example here with the name, age, and language property. Let's say I want to assess the name property, which is this one. I have const target again. Then I have the object, which is obj. I have the square bracket. And then the expression I'm going to pass here is going to be the string expression of name. And this string expression is going to evaluate to a string of name, which is going to serve as this key for this property we want to assess. So if I come down here and I console log target again, if I run this, you see we have decode, which is the value of this property that we have assessed. Using the bracket notation, you can also modify an existing property. So here I can say obj, then I have the square bracket, and the expression I'm going to pass here is string age, and then here I can say 100. If I come here and I console log obj again and I run this, you can see name decode age has been modified to 100, language stays the same. And if I also want to add a new property, same way, I have the obj, I have the square bracket, I pass an expression here. The expression I'm going to pass here is a string of location and then here I'm going to assign the value of mercury. If I come here and I run this again, you see name, age, language, which are the existing properties. And then this is a new property that I just passed here. So now what is the difference between the dot notation and the bracket notation? The dot notation only allows static keys while bracket notation accepts dynamic keys. And what do I mean by static keys? Static keys means that the key is typed directly while dynamic key means that the key is evaluated from an expression. So let's come back to the dot notation. I'm going to paste this example again. Now let's say we want to have a variable called my key, which is language. And then here we have targets and instead of saying obj dot language we want to say obj dot my key so that my key would serve as a reference to language and then obj dot language is going to result in javascript but watch what happens when i say console log target if i come here and i run this file you can see that we have undefined why is this the case that's because with the dot notation you can only type the key directly so here we type this key directly as my key which means it's not going to use this variable here instead 
the dot is going to look for this property on this object and because this property does not exist we get undefined if i come here and i add a new property called my key and i assign this maybe my key if i come back here and i run this you can see instead of getting undefined we now have my key so like i said dot notation only allows static keys but when i use bracket notation i can pass a dynamic key what do i mean by that i'm going to comment this and let's say i have const target and then i have obj and then remember i have square brackets and in this square bracket i can pass any expression that i want i can pass an expression like hello plus hi i can pass an expression like return key which is executing a function i can pass any sort of expression that evaluates to a value because at the end of the day it's that value that will be used as the key so here i can also pass this variable here i have a variable expression what would this expression evaluate to it's going to evaluate to this string which is the value of the variable and then this obj can then look for the property that has the name of language and it will return on that value so if i come here now and i return node test you can see we have javascript why is that the case variable expression evaluates to language then obj checks for the language property which is this here and we get javascript but if i change this to a string expression of my key then this will no longer use the variable instead it will check for the property with this name which is my key so if i come here and i run this you see we now have my key and the same applies if i want to modify an existing property let's say i come to my key here here and i change this to age i'm also going to delete this one and then i say obj dot my key and i assign it a value of 100 because i want to modify this age property well that will not work if i come here and i console log obj watch what happens the age is still 80 it stays the same but what does the dot notation do instead it adds a new property called my key with the value of 100 that's because like i said static keys when you say obj dot my key obj is going to look for my key directly in obj here and if that key does not exist it's going to assign it as we have seen here but if i change this to bracket notation remember we have the bracket and we have the expression and for this expression i'm going to pass my key and then i say 100 if i come here and i log this you can see we have name decode we have age 100 which means we have modified this property so this variable expression here is evaluated to this age string so obj would check for this age string as a property name which is this and then it modifies it to 100 so you can see again how this bracket notation accepts dynamic keys while the dot notation only accepts static keys and if i want to add a new property with the bracket notation i can also say obj here let's say i have um, a concatenation of a string as an expression loca plus shun then i assign this mercury local plus shun this expression is going to be evaluated to location so the bracket notation now would check for this location key and if that does not exist we assign it the value of mercury so if i come here and i run the test you can see name decode age is 100 because we modified it here language stays the same and now we have location mercury so you can see we have an expression here where we'll combine a string together and you can have any kind of expression here you can even have a conditional expression like if 10 is greater than 11 then return 10 else return 11 i'm going to clear this comment if we come here clear this concern we run no test you can see here we have a conditional expression is 10 greater than 11 that is false that means this will be returned and this will serve as the key as you can see here but if i change this to 20 and i change this here to 20 and i run no test because this expression is true this would be returned and since this is returned then obj uses this as the key for the property and now we have 20 mercury here i have a video on conditional operator i'll also link it below so you can learn more about it so now that we've seen the difference between the dot and bracket notation which one should you use well the main factor that would help your decision is the key of the property you want to assess if it is a static key as you have seen that is a good place to use dot notation you can also use the bracket notation if you want but the dot notation works fine there but if you want to use a dynamic key which is a value that is evaluated from an expression during runtime then use bracket 
notation. Dot notation is useful when you know the property ahead of time. You simply do object dot key. But bracket notation is useful when you want to dynamically assess that property. I hope this video explains the differences between these two ways of assessing properties in objects. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share, and also subscribe for more simplified videos I'll be making on JavaScript.